Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can connect Databricks to Power BI. And what I have on my screen here is simple. I've got a data from my Databricks file system. I'm going to be reading that data into a data frame. And I'm just going to be doing a little cleaning on the data just to take out spaces on the column names. And I'll be creating a database. And after creating a database, I would also create uh, my file and write my customer data into the customer table I'm going to be creating as a SQL table and I'm going to read that table and afterwards I'll just go straight to Power BI and show you how you can do your connection. Before I start just to let you know that I have my cluster that I've created a personal compute you could also do the same have your cluster created which I have done here because every connection you're going to be doing is going to be dependent on the cluster that you have. So I'll go back to my Databricks let me just run this. This is going to load the data from my Databricks file system. It's a customer data having a couple of rows, about over five, uh, about 5,599, 92 rows, and a number of columns. So I'll be doing the little data cleaning. This data cleaning, I explained it in my last video, what I'm cleaning and what is the impact of that cleaning. So you could just see here that I've replaced all of the spaces with an underscore and where you have the ampersand, I change it to and just basic cleaning. So I'll be able to write this as a SQL table into my SQL database. I'm going to create a database. Before I create this database, just to show you that when I go to my, my catalog, in my catalog on my hive tables, I don't have any database called this name. These are the default database that I have, the AdventureWorks database and the default database that I have. I want to create a new database. And the database I'm going to be creating will be called David Ezekiel Tutorials, underscore tutorial. So let me click this. When I do this, it shows me, okay, my database has been created. And this is just to assign this database name to a variable called database name. I'm going to come here to write my client data frame as a table and the name I'm giving my table is going to be called customer and the customer table is going to be attached to the database called David Ezekiel underscore tutorial. So I'll just run this. When I do that, I will quickly go to my catalog to show you that my table has been created. So let's go to the catalog and I'll just do a, a simple refresh. When I refresh, you could see that my database has been created and the table that I have has also been created. If I want to run this table, I could say select all from this and you are able to run your table that has been created already. The question is how do we connect to Power BI? On, your on the top right, you see use with Power BI. I'm just going to use this drop down. You could use with Tableau, of course, and you could also use with Power BI. If I click open in Power BI, there are two ways. I could do an automatic connection and I could also go to Power BI and fill in my connection details. Let's do this one first. I'm going to download this, double click on it to have it open and ensure that you have all the credentials that you need to log into um, your personal account because you you might be prompted to do that. You certainly will be prompted to do that. I will use Azure Active Directory. And I say connect. The moment I do that, it shows me my table my database name and the table that I have called customer. If I have more tables, I'm going to see all of the tables that I have here. But because I have only one table, that is the table I'm going to be seeing connected to this place. And I can simply say load. This has been loaded and I can simply see my data. If I go to this place, um, let's come back here. So my data is currently on direct connection. I could go back here and go to sources. And on the sources, 
I could just cancel this and say switch all tables to import mode. Switch all tables to import mode and when I do that, I would be able to have it cached within my Power BI um, desktop. And I could close and apply. So I have my table here and I could view the table that I have. So this is my data. I could see all the data. Another way I could do this, I could go back to this place and let me just close this Power BI and don't save. I want to open something different. Okay. Don't save. I'm going to open a new Power BI connection. New report. And on my new report, I'll say get data. When you said get data, we're going to go to Databricks. Azure Databricks. Click on connect. What is the server host and the path? I can go back to my, go back here. I'll go to my computes, my cluster. Click on my cluster, open the advanced options, go to JDBC or DBC. And this is my server name. I copy this, go to Power BI, paste it here as a server name. I go back to my HPPT path, copy this, come back here and paste this here. And when I'm done, I want to have it on import connection. I just click OK. And when I do that, it brings out all the tables that I've created. And you can see the adventure works. You can see um, the table I, the database I created. I open this, I connect to my customer table. So you load this. So you could use any of the method. You could go directly to Power BI to do the connection, or you could download the file from Databricks and just automatically run the connection to the database where you are connecting to. And I believe this has been helpful so you could try that and let me know on the comment section how that goes see you in my next video um thank you